Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Talita Matt. So if you're new here, please do not forget to subscribe, to like and to comment and welcome of course. Now today what I'm going to be doing is a makeup tutorial. I've had many people kind of ask me to do a makeup tutorial and so I think that I should just give it to you. So first up, oh okay, by the way, if you see me looking up, I kind of have a mirror there for reference. Because, you know, I need to, because I can't really see clear from here. So I'm going to be referencing to that mirror. But however, I will be coming back and showing you guys the first step and stuff. So obviously, first up is we're going to be doing our eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using this. Um, this eyebrow pencil from Essence in the color Hot Chocolate. So firstly, I'm just going to brush my brows up. Before I did this, I primed my face. So now we're just gonna start with the. So you can already see this a shape that is, you know. I'm just going to do this at the end as well. Oh my god, I can't see that. I want it to be so big. Mm, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, okay. I think I should just quickly do the eyebrows because I can't really see from here. So what I went and did is I did my eyebrows off camera and then now next I'm going to go in with the concealer from LA Girl Pro, Conceal from Discam. Now as you can see I'm concealing with the LA Girl Pro Conceal from Discam. You can get this at a very very reasonable price but however I will put everything in the description box. And um, yeah you just conceal and you do the same thing on the other side as well. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be using the Essence Cover Stick in the color matte caramel and it is 50 you can also get this from essence now as you can see this color will be a bit darker of course than the illegal pro conceal and that's because you don't want your forehead to be white so you do that for both sides okay so what i'm going to do now is just i'm going to blend everything together and i'm going to straighten my brows and then i'm just going to comb them up dance dance and then next I'm going to be using my small blending brush and then I'm just going to blend everything together. Now guys, I'm not an expert in makeup, like, you know, so I'm trying, you know, I'm just helping out people that are just trying as well, you know. And um, yeah, next I'm going to be using my eyeshadow palette. Now here, I don't know what I was talking about, but I do know that I was so confused on which colors I'm actually going to use. But then however, for the base, I'm going to use the lighter color than, yeah. So here, I'm using the BC eyeshadow brush. So you're just going to do the same thing on the other side as well. So you want to make sure that you cover like almost the whole um, top area of your eye. I don't know, is that the cut crease or is that, yeah. And then you would want to go with the angled brush. And just do the now I'm gonna be using the angled shadow brush now 
Now, I don't know if you can see properly, but I actually use, firstly, I used a pink, right? And then next, for the inside of the eye, I used a goldish color, just so that I can get that effect, you know? And then you're just gonna quickly do the same thing for below the eyes as well. Okay, and now I'm gonna be using the orange corrector because obviously you'd want to correct like all those scars or pimples or whatever it is that is giving you a headache just correct them girl so i'm going to be using the la girl pro conceal high definition concealer this is a corrector in the color orange corrector i'm going to be using the same angled brush the blending brush the small one and I'm just gonna conceal everything. Now, you might think that I look orange. Well, that's until I actually put foundation on, so you don't have to worry about the corrector's color. Next, I'm gonna be using this Fat and Wild foundation in the color Coca. Now, I'll just spread it everywhere. And then next up, I'm gonna, using, I'm gonna be using the Signature uh, foundation brush. Just blend everything together until you're satisfied now you don't want to put too much foundation because at the end of the day you don't want okay as much as you're going for that dewy kind of matte look but you don't want your foundation cracking and stuff you don't want it to be full on you know so just use the right amount of foundation and spread it all over your face Make sure that you don't touch the eye area like I did. I seriously forgot that I had eyeshadow on and oh my god, the worst. <laughs> so I'm just going to blend everything together. Don't forget your neck area. You don't want to be looking two colors. Also your chest if you can. And just blend everything together. So right now I'm just straightening with my Essence um, long-lasting eye pencil in the color hot chocolate blend 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 don't forget the ears the neck all the problematic areas now I'm gonna be using again the LA Girl Pro Conceal for highlighting my face and I'm just gonna do that just spread it all over spread it spread it all over your eye area now this is for you to prevent eye bags and stuff like that and and also for um, eye bags yes and for highlighting so you're gonna do that on your forehead you're gonna go straight line down your nose and your chin and then after that, you're going to use the blender just to blend everything together. And then now what I have in my hand is the Miss Signature Natural Beauty Contour and Highlight. Now I'm just going to contour my face. And to contour my face, I am using the Precision BC Contour. Contour your forehead as well on the sides of your forehead and then the side of your nose as well because you want to have that pointy nose, you know. <laughs> now before I put my uh, baking powder, you are going to have to kind of blend the concealer that is on your face, on your and then after that you are going to put the powder and then you're just going to bake your face you know how I'd like you'd bake like your scones and stuff yeah <laughs> but not literally so what you're going to do now is you're just going to blend your face and you're going to let it sit after that now you're just going to let it whip so you can be doing your hair in the meanwhile or if you haven't done your eye 
like your eyeshadow that you can do this is the perfect time to do your eyeshadow while you wait and then when the time is up give it like five minutes two to five minutes and then you're just gonna blend everything away now you can use either you can use a blending brush a blending sponge or you can use a big brush So what I'm going to be doing next here guys is I'm going to be using the Miss Signature Bronzer and this is a glow kit. So you're just going to make all the parts that you need to glow glow like your cheeks, your the middle of your nose and your lips of course. Yeah. And then next up I am going to be using the Essence Lash Enhancer Mascara. This is really good. And then after doing my um, my eyelashes off camera, I'm just going to style my hair and the look is finished. Now this is an everyday look. I wouldn't say it's for graduations or wedding or birthdays or anything. It's just an everyday look. Yeah, and we are done. Now I'm going to put like a clear picture of how the highlight and the glow will look, everything. Because my lighting in the bathroom was really bad. But um, yeah guys, I hope that you did enjoy my tutorial. And that's the outcome. And the look is complete.